I've been getting a lot of questions lately, particularly in my DMs on Instagram about ways to be happy, how to be happy, why am I feeling unhappy? And in today's video, we are going to break down three simple keys to overall happiness in life. everybody welcome back to another episode of the keandra jackson show i am your host licensed marriage and family therapist keandra jackson and today we are talking about all things happiness and if you didn't know happiness is based on an emotional state that is characterized by fulfillment contentment and satisfaction i personally heard somebody say it like this happiness is based on happenings I'm gonna say that again for the people in the back. Happiness is based on happening. So that basically means that you are triggered in a positive way or a good way by life experiences, life events, and life circumstances. So if things are going well in your life and everything is just peachy keen, then you're gonna be happy. But when life starts to throw you all of these curveballs, as we know life does, you tend to be less happy or unhappy. Now, I didn't even plan to talk about this, but bringing up happiness also makes me think about joy. There is a distinct difference between happiness and joy. While happiness is based on happenings, joy is a long lasting state of contentment about your overall life. And this is based on no matter what happened. Death happens, you still have joy. Job loss happens, you still have joy. Shifts in your family and your finances, you still have joy. Changes in your business, you still have joy. Do you see the difference between happiness and joy? Happiness is based on what's happening in your life and joy is based on this deep, rooted understanding that no matter what happens in my life, good or bad, I am going to be locked and loaded and have a space of contentment no matter what's swirling around in my world. Before we get into it, I need for you to put in the comment section, would you rather have happiness or joy? Let's talk about it. To be honest, this is a perfect segue to an anonymous question that came in on a segment that I love to call Dear Keandra. Dear Keandra, you seem like a very happy person. So I was wondering if you can provide me with any tips, tools, or resources on how to be happier or why I may be feeling this way. Lately, I have been feeling sad, down, and frustrated, and I just don't understand why. Any help would do. Thank you so much for having the courage to write in about this topic. I think you're not alone. There's so many other people out there, especially with our current economic state. But there are plenty of other people who are experiencing sadness, frustration, or they're feeling like their life is not in the space that they want it to be or where they envision it to be. So if you are somebody who wants to write into the show, you can send us an email to info at keandrajackson.com and your question could potentially end up on the next episode. Answer your question, I want us to put things into perspective. Outside of God, cause y'all know, me and God be rocking tough together. Outside of that, I want to give you three simple keys to happiness. These are some things that I have implemented in my life and I'm sure once you hear them, they can be helpful in your life too. Of course, these are not exhaustive. It's only three things, okay? Maybe I'll do a longer video at a later time to add some additional ones, but these are the ones in this season that I have found most effective. Before we even get into the list, I want you to understand that happiness is not based on material things. Having more cars, more money, more clothes, more shoes, more jewelry, more bags, more fill in the blank is not going to make you happy. This is why we see celebrities with all of the glitz, the glam, the fame, and they still die by suicide or they lose it all, right? It's because material things don't matter in the long run and it doesn't bring you overall happiness. Now, I can absolutely agree that having a little bit of coin and a little change does relieve a lot of stress, but that should not be the main thing that you should be focused on. There are other valuable assets to life that can contribute to your overall happiness that's way more sustainable than material things. Here's the first simple key to happiness, and it is don't take things personal. I don't know if you've ever heard of the book called The Four Agreements, but it is by Don Miguel Luis. And he has these four principles in his book, and this one is one of them. Don't take anything personal. I promise you that the things that other people do, how they show up, 
what they say, what they don't do, what they don't say, what they spend money on, all of those things have absolutely, positively nothing to do with you. They are not about you. We might think that it is. We may assume that it is, but how someone treats someone else, how they show up, what they do or a lack thereof is about their own internal stuff that they got going on. It's about their own current struggles. It's about their childhood trauma. It's about things that are going on in their own world that has absolutely positively nothing to do with you. So while you're on this journey and we get upset and we get mad and we get frustrated and we feel all of these negative emotions when someone does something to us. But if you have this mindset of not taking things personally, I promise you, you will be so much more happier in life overall because you'll understand that, hey, they're treating me like this, not because of something that I did, but probably because of something that they also have going on in their own personal life. They're snappy with me because they just lost a parent and they're going through all of the emotions. They are angry and upset with me because they just lost their job and they don't know what they're going to do financially. So those things ain't got nothing to do with me. So don't take things personal. But also, too, y'all know I'm big on personal accountability. So if you have done something wrong to somebody and it for real, for real is your fault, take personal accountability. The second simple key to happiness is to have connections and build a strong support system. I don't know about y'all, but in this current season of my life, actually the last like four years, if it wasn't for my support system, including family, friends, colleagues, even some of y'all on social media, if y'all did not rock hard and heavy with me and support me, I don't know what life would have been like over the last few years. I experienced so many changes in business and family and loss and death and sickness within my family. Like, there's just been so many things happening that I was like, whoa, <laughs> I don't know if I would have made it if it wasn't for the people around me who have supported me, who have encouraged me, who sent me flowers, who sent me kind words, who checked in on me, who sent me money randomly, who sent me lunch randomly. Like just all of these random things happen. It's because I have built community and have strong connections with those that are in my support system. And to be honest, when you have good people around you, that's the secret sauce. Because when you have them good, good people around you, no matter what's happening in your world, you can always tap into those people to be that undergird and support you. So if you're going through a breakup, you got somebody to call. If you're going through a financial situation, you got somebody that you can borrow money from. If you're going through some housing troubles, you got a couch that you can lay on at somebody's house. If you have a strong enough support system, you're always going to have somebody around you that is going to have your back. So that is absolutely positively one of the keys to success. So if you don't have a support system, at least find one person. Just one can make a difference in your life. The third simple key to success is to stay curious and open-minded. I know you're probably thinking, wait, 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 how is this a key to happiness? But it is a key to happiness because some of the most miserable, miserable <laughs> people that I have met in my life are the people who are closed off, who think they know everything, who just live this very straight and narrow life. They don't go nowhere. They don't do nothing. They don't want to explore. They don't want to learn anything new. And they think they got everything together. Those are the people who... Whew, need some assistance, right? And so when you stay open and you stay curious and you're open-minded, you get to create life the way that you envision it to be. That genuinely means you can embrace new ideas. You can listen to different perspectives. You can explore other races and culture. You can read new books. You have just this sense of wonder that you want to learn and grow no matter what. Thinking that you have everything all the way together and that you know everything, is the furthest thing from the truth. So think about how important it is to be creative and to just allow that to blossom. Because what it does, it creates a, just a richer life and a richer lifestyle. Think about all of the people who just go to work and come home every day. <laughs> work at home, gas station and grocery store all day, every day. Their life isn't as fulfilled. It isn't as rich, you know, as it could be. They're not going anywhere. They're not exploring. They don't even drive up the street. You know what I mean? So be open-minded and being curious is just so important. And then you'll have a very 
uh, you can have good conversation. You can have good communication skills. You have great stories to tell other people. You are just a very full person. And then that means you have things to give other people. So in conversations, you won't just be like, what you do today? Oh, nothing. And it's just like, oh, yeah, last week I went to this museum that I've never went to. Oh, I went to this new restaurant. Oh, I'm, I'm actually reading this new book. It's really, really great. You should you have something to talk about and engage with other people. If you don't, then let's see what type of lifestyle you'll be presenting. So while these three little simple keys wasn't exhaustive and I could literally add a million and more, I hope this was just a start on you doing some things and shifting some things in your life that can make you just a little bit more happier or giving you a deeper understanding as to why you may be happy. Even going back to that difference that I made between the happiness and the joy is a wonderful starting point. So let me give my final thoughts because it's a wrap. I just wanted to spend the last few moments empathizing with the person who wrote in with this question. Thank you for being bold. Thank you for being courageous. Thank you for allowing yourself to just be self-aware enough to know that this is an issue for you. And I think you're speaking for so many more people who are silent, who would not be willing to say, hey, I'm not happy either. Hey, my life is a little funky right now and I don't really know what's going on. I don't know how to get out of this rut. I hope and I pray that something that was said in this video was helpful to you. It's going to start you on the journey to being a little bit more happier, not just getting happiness, but also moving to a place of pure, authentic joy. So thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Be blessed.